very tender. There it is. It's even all the way around. That is so good. Better than any steak you'll eat in a restaurant. Hey y'all, it's Tammy with Collard Valley Cooks and today I'm going to teach you how to make a well done or medium well done steak and it be juicy and delicious. You're going to see how many minutes I cook this steak. It's about three quarters of an inch thick and that way if you want it medium you can just reduce the amount of minutes but make sure that you leave the time on the end to add the butter to the pan and do a good basting with some herbs because you are going to be so satisfied. Today we're making a juicy steak, a delicious steak, and we're going to pan fry it in an iron skillet. This iron skillet has been on for a good five minutes. You want to make sure that it's good and hot all the way across and not just partially. We're going to use a good bit of oil and we're going to use extra virgin olive oil to do our steak in. If you've got canola oil, that would work even better. We're going to let this get really hot and then we're going to drop our steak in there. One thing you need to make a good steak is a good steak with plenty of marble in it. You need butter, of course salt, and pepper. And we are going to use rosemary today. And we're going to use some garlic. But the first thing we're going to do is get some salt on this steak. This steak has been out to room temperature now for about two hours. So you want your steak to be at room temperature and we're just putting some kosher salt on it. I'm going to flip it over and put it on the other side as well. This is not kosher salt. This is actually Himalayan salt. Now we're going to start our sear. You're going to want it to be good and hot. using these good oils is that you don't have a smoky mess but I will say you're going to get splattered and popped and the floor is going to get splattered and popped if you cook it on the front aisle like we're doing so make sure you wear an apron or some old clothes we're going to baste it with some butter but we're going to do that at the end right now we're just getting a good sear on the bottom We're going to put in a couple of pieces of garlic and rosemary. I'm going to go ahead and turn it over. And I'm going to start basting it. You're going to want your heat to be down a little lower so that you're not going to burn the butter. We're going to baste each side about a minute. And you'll be able to tell by looking at the garlic about, you know, when you need to be done and the rosemary as well. Let me put it down here so I can get this flavor on the other side. I'm going to flip it over. And we're going to baste the other side. And this one didn't get quite as brown in the center. So I'm going to make sure I baste the center. Thank you. 
place just long enough to get this brown right here. And then we are going to flip it and baste the other side. All right, I think it's been enough time. We're going to put this on our plate. This is pretty much just hot butter. It's good stuff. So you're going to let that rest about five minutes. All right, let's slice into this steak and see how it looks, y'all. It has set here for about five minutes. It's very tender. And it's well done, isn't it? Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna slice into this biggie. See how we did with the time on this one. even all the way around that is a nice nice medium just almost a touch of medium rare right here Whew, that looks good all right this was gonna be so delicious y'all It's a bigger piece of steak. Takes a minute to chew it. It is amazing how different the steak can taste by the amount of time that it cooks. This one is a medium. It's nice and warm. When you put it in your mouth, it's still real warm. And it's delicious and very tender. But you can really taste the meat when you do it this way. So you better buy some good meat by Prime Cut. And let's give it a taste and see if we can taste the rosemary and the garlic. Wow. Mmm. For a steak to be that well done, it's delicious. Boy, is it good though. It tastes amazing. Mmm. That is so good. Better than any steak you'll eat in a restaurant. Now, you guys know how to make medium to medium rare and medium well to well. Hopefully that'll make everybody in the house happy. Thanks for watching Collard Valley Cooks, where we know how to cook a steak.